this episode, we're going to look at action text, and when we create our action text, everything seems to be normal. However, if I come back and edit this, or if I were to create a new one, and if I were to insert in some emojis, whether it's one or many, and if I try to update the record, we'll see that we get an incorrect string value. And this actually is not a problem with Ruby on Rails, but rather it's an issue on our database where we have set something like a UTF-8 character set on our table or on a particular column. And if you're creating a new Ruby on Rails application with Rails 6, then you will likely not have this issue, as the default character set is either already set to Unicode or the UTF-8 MB4. But if you do experience this issue, it's more likely because you have come from Ruby on Rails 5.2 or earlier, and you have upgraded your application to a newer version. You would also experience this issue if you put the emoji character in a string data type as well. So we're going to look at fixing this within our Rails application. And again, if you've created a new Rails 6 application, you may not have this issue at all. And so after running a migration and coming back and refreshing our page, we would expect then to be able to add an emoji either in a string data type or in an R action text and to be able to update our post without any errors. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. So be sure to check that out and use the promo code Ruby for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.